So my beautiful model Katie today has struggled with acne throughout her life and right now she has a little bit of post acne scarring and some marks here on this side of her face. So what I want to do is we're going to start by just giving her a little bit of coverage and color correcting the redness first. How I'm going to do this would be to use a little bit of green primer. This one is the Makeup Forever HD Green Primer. The reason I like it for her skin type is because it is water based. A lot of primers come in silicone based primers and those aren't necessarily the best for oilier or acne prone skin just because they tend to seep into the pores a little bit more. So the, this one will sit really nicely on her skin, it's not going to clog her pores and if you can see it is correcting the redness. Don't be afraid of the color, I know it looks scary. So we're gonna go ahead and prime. I don't usually put this completely all over the face, just in the areas that you're seeing that extra redness. And the kind of look that we're doing, since she really doesn't have too much of a breakout on this side of her face, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to do a lighter daytime type of coverage. It's not gonna be that super full kind of cakey look. I just wanna do something that she could wear around, um, you know, doing errands, anything like that and she won't feel so made up. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually apply a CC cream for her. Now this one is the Peter Thomas Roth. It actually has Camu Camu in it, which is very high concentration of vitamin C. And CC stands for color corrector. So over time it's actually gonna fade these dark spots and scarring that she has, which is amazing for her. So she's actually using something that's treating her skin as well as covering. And if you see, I'm just kind of using my fingers right now to press into the skin because sometimes when you have this type of pigmentation or you have a breakout, the warmth of your finger and just kind of rolling and patting just kind of sets it into the skin so it's really not sitting on top too much. One of the big things that we've spoken about, Katie and I, um, and when we've had struggles with our skin, is just making sure that you are treating your skin right. Use moisturizer. Don't be afraid even if you are oily to moisturize because that is when you run into problems. I know I had very, very oily skin when I was younger and I thought, oh, hey, I don't need to use moisturizer. My skin's already oily. Who needs that? And my skin actually took the makeup that I was applying on my skin as moisture. So it was kind of taking it into my pores and I was breaking out more. It was just a disaster. And interestingly enough, I've never tried this, but Katie said that she likes to use honey on her skin because it moisturizes and actually heals. So she's had a lot of success with that. And I wanna finish by setting it with powder because we wanna make sure that she doesn't get shiny or too oily throughout the day. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD. It's really nice for oily skin types. It's very smooth. It's gonna blend everything and just kind of keep everything matte. I'm using a kabuki brush and just kind of blending it all over the face. And if you want more coverage, you can go through and spot conceal, but I'd say this is a nice, easy daytime look for just covering a little bit of post-acne scarring.